Hey everybody, Brian Altano here, and in today's gaming news, it's April Fool's Day, so we're rounding up all the best fake gaming news stories so you don't get tricked. Then we're covering real stories that sound fake, like a Waffle House-themed stage potentially coming to Tekken, and Sonic the Hedgehog-themed food coming to IHOP. It's The Daily Fix, and it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Happy 1st of April, everyone, AKA the day where the entire internet lies to you by showing you fake things you wish were real and also real things happen by chance or get announced purposely and everyone spends 24 hours in a confused fugue state. Let's round up some of the best fake video game April Fool's jokes out there. All right, right here on IGN, we made a fake trailer for the Virtual Boy Pro, a sequel to the failed Nintendo 3D console from the 90s. The not real Virtual Boy Pro connects to your Nintendo Switch and allows you to play a wide variety of new games using augmented reality in your home a joke that only works when you stop remembering that the Nintendo Switch doesn't have a camera, let alone a rear-facing one that would be able to film your living room. Go give the video a watch. It was really fun to help work on this. It felt right to do a Nintendo-themed April Fool's joke on the 15th anniversary of one of IGN's first and best Nintendo April Fool's jokes ever, the fake trailer for The Legend of Zelda movie. Hey, uh, they're making that movie for real now. Uh, moving on to more fake news, the Pokemon Company announced a tournament for Pokemon Sleep, where players from around the globe will compete in an eight-hour and 30 minute tournament to prove they can sleep better than anyone else. God, I wish I got that much sleep in an average night. I'm more of like a six and a half hours wake up pound espresso shots while watching weird horror movies kind of guy myself. But good luck to the rest of you out there in this fake tournament. If you're a physical game collector, I got some great fake news for you. CD Projekt Red announced that their hit game Cyberpunk 2077 is coming to floppy disk, that weird old PC media format. Unfortunately, since Cyberpunk requires a minimum of 70 gigs to install, the floppy disk version requires a whopping 97,619 3.5 inch discs to start. So uh, definitely make some room on your fake media shelf or potentially clear out your entire fake living room. Then there's Duckside, a PVP PVE flying, crafting and base building game that's like Rust meets DayZ, only you play as a duck the entire time. Weirdly enough, uh, this is actually a real game with its own Steam page. So even though it looks and sounds incredibly silly and ridiculous, you'll actually get to play it someday. Uh, there's currently no release date, but we'll keep quite Tracking, I mean, tracking Duckside's development as it gets closer to being out there on the pond. And what better way to play your gaming library than with the Razer Cthulhu gaming chair? A gaming chair with eight AI powered arms that can feed you, brush your teeth, and do other uh, weird stuff for you while you play games. I'm actually really glad this one's fake. I don't want to know what any of you would do with eight AI powered tentacle arms. There's a full roundup of all the best and silliest video game April Fool's jokes out there on IGN.com right now. So go check that out. It will significantly help reduce your disappointment if you see an April Fool's joke in the wild and think it's real. It's best to be prepared on a day full of lies like today. Okay, at the top of the show, I promised you some real gaming news stories that sound fake but are actually real. And weirdly, they both involve uh, breakfast, which is odd. Tekken 8 director Katsuhiro Harada took to Twitter to respond to Tekken fans who keep demanding that the game get a stage inspired by Waffle House, uh, the popular all-night rowdy diner chain of restaurants. Harada responded and asked why so many people keep asking him to add this seemingly unrelated breakfast restaurant to the game. In its nearly 70 years of operation, Waffle House has become a cultural icon for a few reasons, two most notable ones being it's an uh, all-night open uh, joint, so you know, even during emergencies, you can go hang out there. And because it has become the centerpiece of a lot of memes, most of them surrounding the fact that people have posted photos and videos of fights breaking out at various locations. Even SNL made a skit based on the meme. So yeah, good fight and joint. Harada received a ton of responses from fans and then followed up with a tweet explaining that making the stage would not be easy because Waffle House is a registered trademark and he would need permission from the owner of the rights to Waffle House to make the stage. So you're saying there's a chance. Hopefully Namco Bandai and Waffle House can cut through the legal red tape and make a Waffle House themed Tekken level because I really want to suplex Kuma through an oversized breakfast hash brown bowl at three o'clock in the morning. And finally, rounding up our pair of real news stories that sound fake, but also both involve breakfast. It's a weird day. Sega has partnered with pancake chain restaurant IHOP, AKA the International House of Pancakes, to create a series of Sonic the Hedgehog inspired menu items, and they're all as ridiculous as you could imagine. There's a Sonic Blue Blur special, a stack of blueberry pancakes that apparently have double the blueberries of your average IHOP blueberry pancake. Then there's the Knuckles chicken sandwich, a fried chicken sando that comes with gold fried onion rings. I guess serving actual echidna would be gross, illegal, 
Bell or both. Or maybe you'd rather have Dr. Eggman's Benedict, which is mostly just a regular Eggs Benny that may or may not inspire you to trap dozens of woodland creatures in a metal containment unit. You gotta go fast to see the full list of Sonic the Hedgehog inspired food on IHOP's website, if that's how you, you know, feel like spending part of your day to day. I won't judge you. And that's your deadly fix for April 1st. You did it. You made it through the day without getting tricked. Be sure to check out IGN later on today because we have an exclusive first look at Grand Theft Auto 6 running on last gen consoles. That's right, Rockstar announced over the weekend that GTA 6 will be coming to PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, and that it's gonna look awful. April Fools. Thanks for watching the show today. I'm Brian Altano. I hope you have a great day. For all your gaming news, real and fake, stay tuned to IGN.